tech rabbit here. So we go over some um, breadboard in doctors. Let's just get into it. Oh, anyway, here we have some inductors. This is one set. And inductors, the um, common units, Henry. So um, this is a package that goes from um, uh, one micro Henry uh, up to 4.7 milli milli Henrys. And then I have. Uh, Actually, look like this. So they kind of look like resistors, so you could actually mistake them for resistors, except they're a little bit um, more bulky than resistors are. So you one might be suspect on that. And then the um, color coding won't really match the um, classical resistors in all, in all its forms because it is color coded, but it only has some. Um, two numbers in the beginning. That's the first set. And we have a, have a second set here. So like a stand-up size type. So this is a range from um, 10 microhendry up to um, 10 millihendry or so. And they're this more like stand-up style the more visible core, as you can see here. So, so, what I thought we'd do is we'd actually have a look at the structure of an inductor. And the best way to do it is to take one of the bigger ones apart. Let's see if I can get this protective cover off here. Sock off. So, oops. Oh, it has a protective sock. And then here's the actual inductor, and then it's it's um what it is is it's um a ferrite core with uh, wound with lots of lots of wire. So if you would think that what a um if this is 10 milli Hendrews, then if you think of a one Hendry coil, that <laughs> be quite um, bulky. So let's see if I can um, actually show the wire in this case. Let's disconnect that. Basically, lots and lots of wire coiled around the ferrite core, and then the ends of the wire are then soldered to the um, to the legs. So anyway, well, let's see how this actually works. Well, have a look at an inductor in uh, action, and um, you're putting in a sinus wave at 50 hertz, and yeah, what looks like it's coming out is sinus wave at 50 hertz, about the same amplitude. I mean, the impedance of an inductor goes up with frequency, so you can um, count it by using a formula 2 pi times frequency times the inductance in Henry's. And um, let's see what happens if we increase the so let's see what happens if we um, increase the frequency to um, 500 kilohertz. Now to scale it again, let it look a bit more of a crash. Oh, now we see that the signal gets attenuated as the impedance has increased. As you see the scaling is also different so it's now one volt per division. So if you want to really see the attenuation we can actually set the division to the same so 
I don't know if I see that. Severely damp. So anyway, so um, let's see if we, um, just as a reference and a reminder, we can have a look at what a condenser does because they actually have the opposite reaction to um, frequency and the basically what you do is you use the same formula but you just invert it to get the impedance back. So I swapped over to the condenser. Uh, as you see now, the condenser actually has much less impedance in higher frequencies. So passes nearly the whole signal. So let's see what happens if I make it 50 Hz now. Oh, whoops. As you see, there's really not much of a difference because this is a 10 nanofarad um, capacitor, so it's not really going to you know, put much resistance on, on the... Uh, or it won't have a very large impedance in this frequency range, but let's say if we put in a bigger capacitor. And see what happens. Yeah, well, we saw a much more of a dampening effect on the low frequencies. But let's if we go back to 500 kilohertz again. Let's see what happens. Now you see it's starting to let some frequency for at 500 kilohertz. So one actually has to be a bit sort of when one's working with both inductances and capacitances, one has to have a little bit of a finger feeling for what is the created impedance at a, at a given frequency. Otherwise, one might, for example, think that this is a broken capacitance that actually doesn't work, or um, yeah, you don't really get the effect that you're looking for. Well, anyway, I hope you found that informative. Um, please consider subscribing. Hit the like button. Uh, you know, if you want to buy some merch, there's a merch store available. You can buy me also buy me a cup of coffee if you like. Links are in the description. And um, see you in the next one.